Hello, fellow YouTubers. Hello once again. Um, so I am going to tell you kind of my secrets about chess. Um, so in the last video, I explained certain things about it and uh, how this one elderly dude well, 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 I, I read in a book, a, a chess book, it, 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 it said that if you try to become better at chess, you can actually become worse. Now, it won't tell you this in more detail, but the reason why that is, is uh, if you go by other people's opinions, chess is just like life and, and vice versa. If you go by people's uh, uh, BS opinions in life or chess, they'll they'll tell you misinformation to throw you off. You know what I'm saying? So so they'll be more successful, and and you you won't. Okay, so that's how it goes when you go to Las Vegas, and uh, you 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 play uh, 21, 21 blackjack. You know on that movie Rush Hour Two. When that uh, blackjack dealer says to that uh, one dude, um, um, he he um, the 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 blackjack blackjack dealer says to that uh, black dude, um, I suggest you hit, sir. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to think. Like he suggests that he hits. And uh, long story short, to or to articulate this quickly, um, whether whether you're gambling in Vegas or where, or where you're gambling in chess with somebody on the street, um, many times they'll give you misinformation to throw you off. Okay, now I remember that one dude. Remember that one dude I, I mentioned? He was he was an elderly dude. Um, he said that. Um, when you're black, um, and you on the king's side, when you move that, um, there, there's, there's when you when you castle on the king's side, there's three pawns, um, um, on top of the 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 king and the rook, and if you move that center center pawn forward one spot, um, and then uh, like like next. Um, move the bishop and then like the next move the knight um he, he's all like uh when you when you move these pieces like this you can castle in uh three moves okay and he and he says as i mentioned before it's good to castle early and it's good to castle period because then you'll have you'll have two rooks on the back rank and the queen and they're all connected to each other. So that creates an impenetrable back rank. Now remember that one chess match I was talking about that I played this one dude, which was, uh, I can't remember what year. Oh, oh, oh yeah, it, it was around the 4th of July. It's, it's almost the 4th of July now. It was the 4th of July, 4th of July, 2005. Around the time I was like 23. Now I'm like 40. And so when I play this uh, dude, and I and I and I try to throw him off because I know he's probably used to people casting on on the king side, because people usually castle on the king side because when you castle, which is in which is uh, one move, um, on the king side, your king is uh, is touching all three pawns, the one right of right in front of him, and caddy corner. Each caddy corner, up front in front to the uh, right and left side. Now, if you castle on the queen side, though, you have that one single pawn that isn't protected. You can always protect it later, of course. But so I, I so people I think are are um, castle usually on the king side. My theory is because when you when you castle, which is in one move, then it's not like it's not like the queen side where it'll have that one. Uh, pawn that that no piece is backing up but so so I, I i castled on queen side just to try to throw this dude off and um 
So when that one elderly dude said, when you castle, you, you'll, you'll connect both the rooks and the queen, and that creates an impenetrable back rank. Well, that's that's on the um, that's on the other side of the king. Be, okay, that, that's that's on the one side of the king, but on the other side of it, there's there's no rooks or or a queen backing that pawn up. Okay, so and so, but anyways, um, and 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 also also um, like with what happened with me. When I when I um when I made a more strong uh barrier with my pawns by making like um by pushing that one pawn forward um you know a queen could could drop itself into my back rank on that one side where that where that uh more vulnerable pawn is and uh you know, flush, flush uh, a person's king out, you know what I'm saying, so, so pretty much this video is, um, the point of this video is, you'll hear one person's opinion, or that person's opinion, it don't matter if it's Bobby Fisher, you know what I'm saying, because I, I've, I've seen, I've seen kind of a little bit of, of his book about chess, and I'm thinking like, dude, I've, I've read way better chess books than this, dude, this, this fucking chess book sucks a donkey dick, dude, you know, so, that's one thing, whether it's with martial arts, my theory, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fanatic about that, but that's that's my weakest talent, is, um, that's my weakest strength, is a sports one, but uh, whether it's chess, poker, life, don't listen to anybody else's opinions, because opinions are like assholes, and everyone's got one, okay, um, bye for now.